Personal Injury Court. This is the matter of Taylor versus Morgan. Ladies, I've read the materials that you submitted to this court. Now, Ms. Taylor, it is my understanding that you are suing Mrs. Morgan for $5,000 for past medical bills, $25,000 for future medical bills, and $250,000 for pain and suffering for $280,000 for injuries to your hand and your face when you slipped on glass and you believe it is her fault. Yes, Your Honor, I do. Now, Mrs. Morgan, you say this is not your fault and you didn't intend to hurt her. That's is that correct. true? All right, well, let's get into the legal sauce. Now, Ms. Taylor, tell me how we got here. So, Your Honor, I wanted to find love. That's something I've always wanted. And so I ended up joining a dating site and I found the most incredible man. I mean, he was just everything I've ever dreamt of as a kid. And he was very handsome. He's very athletic, um, you know, I am too, because I'm a yoga instructor, and he also loves dogs, and I love dogs, so I just felt like he was my dream man. When and you talk about him, you, is... you seem like your heart is still fluttering. Oh, absolutely, Your Honor. And y'all met on a dating site, right? Yes, okay. yes, Your Honor. We met on the dating site, and the man that I'm speaking to you of is Daniel Morgan. My okay. And that is actually your ex-husband. No, no, my last name is still Morgan. No, so, I'm pretty so sure So for that's the record, Mrs. Husband. Morgan, you all were still married at this time? We're still married right now. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Taylor, tell me more about how this happened. Your Honor, I was not under the understanding that they were married. Okay, now, you see on the plasma here, th this is the uh, dating profile? Yes, Your Honor. And this is what you saw? Oh, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Daniel, 30, dog lover, fitness, movies, recently single just getting out of a crazy relationship. And that turned you on? Mrs. Morgan, I understand that that's yes, not accurate, it, huh? That is not accurate. We are still married. Well, well, what was your relationship at this time? I know you were married, but what was your relationship? I mean, it, it used to be really good. We met as seniors in college, and uh, we, we were happy, blissfully so, for the first year, and then it started to get toxic. And so we were taking some time apart, just separated. Physically separated? Yes, yeah. Okay, you were I, living somewhere else? Correct, I went to my mother's. And uh, we weren't supposed to be dating. That was our agreement. I didn't even know he was on a dating website. So in your mind, while we're separated, we are still husband and wife. Absolutely. And owe obligations to each other. Absolutely. Now, Ms. Taylor, you were, you were swimming in the sea of love. Yes, I was, Your Honor. So I was. what happened next after you and Daniel started to get acquainted? So we started to get to know each other, but we wanted to take things slow yes, because we wanted to make sure that we were right for each other. That's what he told me in his own words. So that's what we did. We took our time with it. We went on a couple of dates and then we went on our third date. And on our third date, we went to go see the movies and we saw an action film that he's very interested in. And when we got back to his place, we wanted to get to know each other more and talk about the film. So we ended up having a bottle of Merlot and we were just chatting in the living room. Having just a, a leisurely Yes, evening. absolutely, Your Honor. We were having a very good time. And out of nowhere, a brick flew through the window and I heard threatening words and I quote, I'm going to kill you. I never said that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I absolutely Anne Marie, did Marie, you did say that. And so, Miss Miss Taylor, a brick came flying through the window, and then what happened? Yes, Your Honor. And at that moment, it was so abrupt and it was so scary that I freaked out. What did you I think was happening? I fled for my life. I thought she was trying to kill me. Well, did you know it was her at that time? No, I didn't, Your Honor. I just thought it was a crazy person throwing this brick okay. through the window. Is that the brick? Yes, Your Honor. This is the brick. Sheriff Matt, will you retrieve the brick from Miss Taylor? This is the brick that was thrown through the window? Yes, Your Honor, that is the exact brick that was thrown through the By window. By Mrs. Morgan? Yes, Your Honor. And Mrs. Morgan, you threw this brick through the window? I did. <laughs> Ladies, I'm gonna keep this up here to keep us all safe, okay? Yes, Your Honor. That would be wise, Your Honor. That would be wise. So the brick goes through the window, you hear the crash, you then react to it. What do you do? I suddenly react. I'm fleeing for my life. And I ended up 
tripping over a coffee table that was in the way. Again, it happened so quickly. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to get out of the house and away from harm's way. You thought you were going to die. I thought I was going to die. Yes, so I tripped over the coffee table and I fell on the ground onto the shards of glass that fell from the shattered window. Yes, and it injured my hand and it injured my face. When your face was cut, what were you thinking? I was in a state of shock. I didn't know what was happening. I was scared because I was having this romantic, exciting evening. I was having a great time with a guy that I really care about. And then this started to happen and I just, I would give anything, Your Honor, to go back to the moment before this. Yes, ma'am, I'm I sure you would. I did not. You were having a romantic evening with my husband. Now, Miss Morgan, you threw a brick through a window. What did you think was gonna happen? I was trying to get my husband's attention. I had heard- I mean, you had some other choices. I mean, tennis ball, well, uh, I didn't know a, that it was a little brick. rock. Uh, maybe even knock on the door, just... Yeah, that right? would have been nice. Well, I tried calling him, but he wasn't answering. I wonder why. So once you got his attention, what did you think was getting ready to happen? Well, I mean, by the time I got his attention, the brick was through the window. Um, <laughs> but ma'am, you understand that you had some other options, right? I didn't realize it was a brick. I literally just picked up the first thing that was on the ground. And well, it was as a result like of a that, crazy you, person, you, right? you see that someone has, has very serious injuries. Miss Taylor has very, very serious injuries. No, her injuries are because she fell over a coffee table. No, my injuries are the because of the brick lady, that you threw. We're at it again. And you fell, fell on the ladies, ground, and ladies. I fell on it because I tripped on the coffee because table. Because you tripped ladies, on the coffee table. Ladies, order in table. this court. Your Honor, this I... is a courtroom, not you all's living room. Okay. I now, never Mrs. Morgan, intended to hit anyone with that brick. I was not trying to cause physical harm to them. Yes, ma'am. I was trying to get my husband's attention. And I'm very sorry that she got scared and tripped over the coffee table and is injured. I'm very sorry. That does not make it my fault. Thank you, Mrs. Morgan. Uh, the uh, facial injury, I, I would imagine that means a lot to you, given that you can't really hide that. No, Your Honor. And as a woman, nobody wants to look like this. I'm a yoga instructor. I love to paint for fun. I can't do that when I'm dealing with the lacerations on my hands. I can't work. I'm sorry that that and happened to you. Excuse I was me, not I'm my talking. Intention. I know, and you're just rambling. It no, was I'm not, not just my rambling. Intention Ladies, to hurt you. You got to keep this rather orderly so I can understand what happened. I agree, Your Honor. I feel like a monster. Yes, ma'am. I feel like I'm ugly now. And that is terrifying. I don't even want to leave the house and I don't even want to go to work. And I actually physically cannot work because of what happened to me because people are asking me questions. People want to know what happened to me. And I look. What happened was you tripped over a coffee table. That's not Mrs. my Taylor. fault. No, what happened is a brick flew through the window and, and almost did, did it hit you. Did the brick hit ladies. your head? Is that what happened? Oh, it almost ladies. did. It didn't though. Please respect the process. Okay, just direct your comments to me. Yes, Ms. Taylor, you obviously are feeling a certain way emotionally about this scar on your face. And I don't mean to belittle that, but you are a beautiful woman, even with the scar. I appreciate that, Your Honor. The scar does not define you. Well, I now, do Ms. think Taylor, she was trying to did hurt the me. brick hit you? No, it didn't, Your Honor, but it was very close to the spot did that the I was Did the glass in. hit you? The glass did not hit me but I fell on the glass because of what was happening in that moment. But you decided to run, right? Yes, because I was scared, Your Honor. Yes, she ran outside terrified. to me and I tried to help her. I did, because I saw that she was You hurt. didn't try to help me. Once, yes, I once did. She left you spit on me. <laughs> that was a visceral reaction. I when was I said, that, here, was let angry. me help you, I what can hurt. I do? I was in Ms. pain. Ms. Mrs. Morgan, Sorry. this case has uh, a, a certain unique appeal because we've got the girlfriend side and the wife's side, but we haven't heard from Daniel. <laughs> Sheriff Matt. Yes, sir. Daniel's in the hallway. <laughs> Why don't you go get him? Okay. Mr. Morgan, come on up. Uh, okay, Mr. Morgan. Tell me about your role in this. Um, shortly after separating with Anne, I got onto a uh, dating site 
and met Whitney here. We talked for a few months and I started to develop feelings. We started to meet in person and it was uh, amazing. It was wonderful. Um, and then uh, on our third date, she came back to my house afterwards and we were having a great night just uh, sipping on some wine and talking and uh, very suddenly a brick comes flying through the window. Glass is everywhere. There's screaming and yelling coming from outside and I suddenly realize this is my, this is my wife. I recognize this voice. And at one point she screams out, I'm going to kill you. No, I didn't. I, you absolutely yes, did. You Mrs. Did. Morgan. Yes, Your Honor. Did you threaten to kill your husband? No, I did not. I mean, it is possible that I felt that way after I realized she was there. Now, now you said you wanted to get his attention. Telling him you want to kill him would get his attention, right? Yes, so would throwing a brick through a window, and it worked. Do you think this worked with those kind of injuries? It was not my intention Did that to work hurt for her. you? I was trying to talk to him because we had agreed not to date other people. I am unaware of that deal, sir. Oh, and you didn't know anything how about convenient. that. convenient. Yes, Mr. Morgan, clearly, clearly your wife didn't intend to hurt anyone, right? Absolutely not, but I think you can see from this behavior just how we ended up in this scenario. Uh, Ms. Taylor, you, you've yes, got some Honor. pretty severe injuries. You had uh, attention from a number of doctors, right? Yes, Your Honor, I did. I want to hear from Dr. Sybil Val, who's a plastic surgeon. Sheriff Matt, will you go get Dr. Val so we can hear what she has to say? Sure will. Dr. Val, come on up. Thank you. Have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Your Honor. Dr. Val, how severe was this injury? This injury was quite severe. It extended from her ear all the way down towards her lips. So the concern in this area is the fact that there are very important nerves, muscles, and even the parotid gland that are running this way. So she was really lucky that the laceration did not lead to damage of her facial nerve or her parotid duct. Even with plastic surgery, will she ever get rid of this scar? With plastic surgery, we can improve the appearance of the scar, but unfortunately, the scar will be permanent. Thank you, doctor. You may step down. Thank you, Steve. Ms. Taylor, I saw your face as the doctor was testifying. Yes, Your Honor. What, what was going through your mind? I was thinking about how I'll actually be perceived to everyone, uh, and to myself, and to Daniel, and how he'll see me. Mrs. Morgan, Having heard this, having heard the doctor's testimony about the severity of this, these uh, injuries, particularly the facial injury, it does tug on your heart a bit, doesn't it? Regardless of fault. Absolutely, Your Honor. Being, being a woman? Being a woman, being a human being. I, I'm not trying to hurt anyone. Yes, ma'am. I am sorry that that happened to you. Now, you used to live in this house, right? This incident happened in your marital home, didn't it? Correct. I no longer live there. Um, I signed the lease over to Daniel. I have the lease release if you'd like to see it. Yeah, I would like to see that. Sure. Sheriff Matt, would you retrieve that from Mrs. Morgan? Thank you, sir. Sure. This is a termination of lease obligation. So the injury actually occurred in your home, Mr. Morgan. But only due to actions made by her will. But it's your responsibility. It's your house now. But at no point did I decide to throw a brick through its window. At no point did exactly. I decide to make her fall over a coffee table, but here we are. Ms. Taylor, Mr. Morgan, Mrs. Morgan, I think I've heard everything I need to hear. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, there are three elements. That is, the plaintiff, that is you, uh, Ms. Taylor, you have to prove that Mrs. Morgan did something wrong and that her wrong caused your injuries. Now, Ms. Taylor, you were injured severely. But in this case, Mrs. Morgan did not intend to hit you. She didn't intend for you to be injured. She was trying to get her husband's attention and didn't know that you were dating him. Mrs. Morgan, you are saying this is not your fault because you didn't intend to hit her. You didn't intend for her to be injured. I didn't hit her, Your Honor. Well, what you've done in throwing the brick through the window is you've changed what was a zone of safety into a zone of danger, and the law doesn't require that you intend to hit a certain person or injure a certain person. It only requires that you think it's likely that someone would get injured, and obviously someone was. What you have proven today, Ms. Taylor, is that Ms. Morgan's wrong caused you injury, 
And that's why I'm finding in your favor for $5,000 of past medicals, $25,000 for future medical expenses, and because this is a lifelong injury, I'm going to award to you every penny of your pain and suffering. So I find in favor of you, Ms. Taylor, and against you, Mrs. Morgan, in the amount of $280,000. This matter is adjourned. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Leonard Lundy has to say. This case shows us that you do not have to intend to hurt someone to be found responsible for their injuries. The defendant did not intend to hurt Ms. Taylor with the brick, but she ignored the risk. She was found liable, not because she intended to cause harm, but because her actions were so reckless and negligent, she should have anticipated something terrible might happen.